Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. New shave today. How are you doing today? Hopefully, you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So, new stuff in this one and new stuff that I haven't used yet, but I've had it for a year. <laughs> so, let's get into that. And yeah, let's get into this. First of all, a lot of talking in this one. I'll try not talk so much, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of talking. Razor, we got Artifact, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, the Artifact Razor. This is commem commemorative 10th anniversary safety. Razor, Bakelite, brass, 24 karat gold. Composed of butterscotch, Bakelite, we call it Baconite, handle, 24 karat plated gold, brass cap, a unique tortoise shell Bakelite bottom cap, no two are alike. Side note, Fran devoted months and months on the case. The design is all hers. So this is what we're rocking today. And initially I wasn't... Honest to God's truth, I wasn't going to buy this. I'm like, you know, I have a lot of razor. You guys know how much gear I have. I have a lot of stuff. I was like, I really don't need another razor. I got a lot of stuff. And I was watching everybody's review about it. I read up on it and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm going to get that. So I actually did get it because it's unique. It's kind of cool. It's 10 years for Phoenix shaving. So that's really cool as well. And yeah, a decade of difference. So yeah, Fran came up with the case. Pretty cool travel case. I imagine you could probably put whatever razor you wanted into it, but I don't know. I haven't tried it, so open it up. It's in there. We've got a decade of different. This is a polishing cloth. I'm not going to open it all up, but yeah, it's a polishing cloth or polishing cloth. Okay, a lot of stuff inside. It's got this orange thing to hug protect the razor and stuff and it also okay you can just see it's got uh five ten fifteen of the blades in there the strangelet blades comes with sticker artifact kind of like that uh if you guys are familiar with led zeppelin what album is that <laughs> kind of reminds me of that a little bit what album is that from led zeppelin wasn't a very good album but it was titled something some sort of object or something <laughs> Then it's got this. So, 10 years of epic. I'd be lying if I said the last 10 years haven't been absolutely surreal and amazing. Both Fran and I are forever grateful to our most epic customers for getting it and continuing to show up release after release. Without your support, we would have fizzled out and burned out long, long time ago. So really, thank you. Since day one, our model has always been try something different. And in the spirit of this very honest tagline, we thought it might be the world, be time for the world to meet the artifact. Also true are our roots. The artifact is based on an extremely rare and obscure safety razor, so much so any background information is lost to time. If we were to guess on the materials, however, I speculate the design to be about 80 to 90 years old. That's crazy. The artifacts, the artifacts, central and efficient in its timeless function and form, smooth in performance and harmonious in its balance. The Bakelite handle is completely solid and decorative. Gold-plated brass top cap not only adds a splash of elegance, but just enough weight to add in the shape. Obscure retro tech and its fine at its finest. Thank you all once more for our for your continuous support over the last decade. decade. And the risk of sounding trite, here goes to 10 more. Stay, shave on and stay groovy, Douglas, Fran, and Huxley. So, yeah, it's a 10-year anniversary thing. I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to get it. It's kind of cool. So, it's got this thingy. Because it won't, it won't come out of there. It's, yeah, like I've seen Greg Targetive do stuff. It won't come out of there. So, yeah, this thing, pull on that. That pops the razor out. So I can imagine if you could might if you wanted to use this as a travel case, you probably could put like a totally different razor in there if you wanted. But that is what it looks like. Very cool. It's got that bacon knight handle. That's our that's the joke, running joke we all have. And yeah, a note it's top cap is brass and then 24 karat gold plated. And put that down there. It has these channels right here. They're um it's like for lubricating, I guess. And then there's like two things here, things here. And then on the bottom, there's these two holes. So I imagine that's for the water and the lather. Kind of like the um, DOC. So it's Phoenix shaving on there. 
and it also says artifact. No two are alike. These are all different. So very cool. Um, we're going to be using the strange lit. Going to use the strange lit with it. That's what it came with. So that's what we're going to be using. Yeah, six or seven days growth. I think it's six or seven. Today is probably going to be posting this tomorrow. It's kind of late. 647. It is Veterans Day. So thank you very much to all you veterans out there. Every single branch. Every single one around the world, all you military veterans, thank you very much for your service. Yeah. All right. Do -do -do. Platinum Strange Lit. <laughs> okay, let's get this in here. The top cap's cool. It does look like a relic, but like modernized, I guess you could say. So, yeah, you can see those little dots. I guess that's where the water and the leather. I've not used this. This is the first time I'm like going through it. So, oh, I got something on there. Ah, I got something on the top cap. But yeah, it's got a decorative thing. So there's a the razor and the blade in there. Never used it before, so we're going to be using it today. Brush we're going with. So it's going to do a kind of Christmassy type thing, even though it is November. We're going to go with Ken Surf's DS Cosmetic Winter Edition 2019 Synthetic 24, 26 millimeter, not brush. Yes. Now, <clears throat> soap we're going with, soap we're going to be going with is, I caught the samples last year. I got like the Christmas cookie, Space Nog, and I got the samples. And I wasn't going to buy a full tub if I didn't like it. Because I'm not, a, I don't like eggnog. I cannot stand eggnog. Not a fan. But I smelt the sample of this and the spice is like, that actually smells good. So I bought this. I bought this last year tail end when it was being discontinued for the season. So I've had this for a year. And that's what the pour looks like from just sitting for a year. Still pretty good. I haven't even touched it. This smells good. Even though I do not like eggnog. I think it's the, the bay rum or the atomic age bay rum that balances it. Kind of like atomic pumpkin. But... Simple file, brown sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, light cinnamon, West Indian Bay, Tonka bean, benzoin resin, and spiced rum. Rich, creamy, spiced, traditional eggnog with a splash of atomic age bay rum. So I think that's probably why it, it balances out. So this came out yesterday. So link down below. Catch it if you want it. And yeah. So it smells so good. I want. I just want to scoop this <laughs> and chew it up and eat it. But... I'm not an eggnog fan, but that smells really good. So let me get this all loaded up and lathered up and be right back. I am back. With me. With me. Ooh, with me. Yeah, about six or seven days worth of growth, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, original cube 2.0. Make sure it is. P-A-A. Uh -uh -uh. <clears throat> but like I said, yeah, I initially wasn't going to buy it. But just reading up on it, it's really cool. And yeah, so I got it. <laughs> got that FOMO, you know what I mean? Because you guys know how much I spent on the console. So I'm like, I really don't need another razor. But this one looks pretty cool, so. And $59.95, so it's not that expensive. You get a pretty cool case as well, which I can imagine you could probably use any kind of, not any kind of razor, but probably use a razor to fit in there if you didn't want to take that for travel. It's kind of cool, though. Okay, it does have, this does have like a little brown to it a little bit. It's kind of cool. I know you guys probably can't see it, but it's got a brown tint to it for a little bit. It's not white, white, so. Yeah. Oh, and it smells good, and I do not like eggnog. I cannot stand eggnog. And they release it at like work every time, or every year. Like the Shamrock Farms one. Ugh. The only one that I can really stand is we have a local... Local farm here. Hang on, actually. I don't know how to say it correctly. It's Dances in Dairy. They have a peppermint eggnog, which is not bad. But yeah, this is where I pull my blades in. So that's like a <laughs> couple years worth of blades right there. 
<laughs> but yeah, they have an all right eggnog. It's like peppermint, but pretty much any, I, I don't like eggnog. Buttermilk, I don't like buttermilk either. I know some people drink buttermilk like straight and I'm like, you're disgusting. <laughs> but this smells really good. I think it's the spiced bay rum in there. Yeah, like the Atomic Age uh, Bay Rum with Atomic Pumpkin. Yeah. Let's give this razor a go. It's a go. All right. Um, I'm on a finger. Yeah, the Baconite. It's a running joke, if you guys know. Uh, if you follow like the groups on Facebook and stuff. Baconite handle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Pass one. Here we go. Not bad. It's gone. That's and it's gone. <laughs> Not bad so far. It doesn't seem like aggressive and it doesn't seem mild. It's like mid ground. It's pretty smooth so far, but that's just on the cheeks. But yeah, that's gone. Yeah. I know a lot of people give the Strangely Blades kind of crap, but so far these are not bad with this razor. And that's six, seven days growth gone. How y'all doing this year? Like, it's almost, this year's almost over with. Man, 2023 is coming. That's crazy. Like, I was listening to, I was listening to 98 KUPD today. I was going to get food. And one of the guys was like, man, it's 2022. Shouldn't we be living like the Jetsons by now? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like, Back to the Future 2. We don't have no flying cars. Got electric cars. Which electric cars have been around since the Model T. Electric cars have been around for a long, long, long time. Very nice so far. This is nice. Like I said, six or seven days worth of growth, but yeah, this handle feels cool. It's like, it it does have a grip to it. It's not slippery. You think it, it looked like it's slippery, but it's not very slippery at all. It's light, but yeah, the head has all the weight. Weeper? Yeah. <laughs> but it's mowing it down. Huh. Shut up, stomach, you ate already. Cool. Careful. Now you guys know I'm a top cap rider. Any razor I use, I ride that top cap. That's just how I shave. I know a lot of guys, when they shave, they go like, they do this. And then they come up. I don't do that. I'm not knocking anybody. If that works for you, that works for you. Me, I can't. I do the opposite where I'm here. And I come down, I feel that blade just barely feathers it. That's just how I shave, so everyone's different, but nice so far. Couple weepers. Couple weepers. Sad. Don't cry, little weepers. Weirdo. 
The cold cube. Okay, past two. Like I said, it's not overly aggressive and it's not very mild. It's like mid to me. It's mid aggression. I got a couple weepers down there. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, this space nog smells really, really good. I like it. I look at the look. Like I said, I say it was sitting for a year. I hadn't used it. I'm like, man, I'm not gonna use it now. It's not, it's not available. So yeah, that's how much I scooped out of it, but. Okay, mustache. Gone, gone, gone. Gone. Yeah. She's like the wind. Not bad. Very close. Weeper there. I think one there. One there. Couple in my neck. But yeah. Very smooth. Very efficient. Alright. Clean up and bread back. Okay. I'm back. Yeah. Couple weepers here. Few on my neck. Yeah. Very close though. I mean. It is smooth. It was efficient. Just a couple weepers. Yeah, all right. Oh, blah. Alum. Alum. Sticks to your face if you don't wet it good enough. So just be like, oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Bit stingy. Bit stingy on the neck. Ooh, it's close. All right, Pat, try. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So we're going with Steam Charge Cushman, Space Note, Aftership, and Cologne. Have not used this yet. Opened it though. Nice scent. Like I said, I don't like eggnog, but this bay rum makes it smell good. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Yes. Just like the shaving, I want to eat this soap. Splash. Very good gourmand. I like it. it smells good, even though I'm not a fan of eggnog. Yeah. Okay. 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 <coughs> Alright, recap of what we used today. We used... Eggnog, or oh, Space Nog. Space Nog, mother, mother. You guys remember Monster Magnet? Space Nog. After Shave and Cologne, P. Allen Block. Used Ken Surf's DS Cosmetic Winter Edition 2019 brush. Potato bowl, wood color. P. A. Ice Cube, no. Mentholated Cube 2.0. Also, oh. I think this would go good with the shaving. I think they would pair well because there's a nice gourmand. Gourmand. Base pick. That's why I scooped off camera. And we used... What else did we use? We used brand new Phoenix Arden's Gushman, the Artifacts 10th year anniversary. Razor. Really smooth. Really efficient. I want to try it with some other DE blades. And yeah. Yeah, it's still bleeding. So yeah, I want to try it with some other DE blades, but... Yeah, so I want to check the underneath. So that's what it looks like. I don't really see much in there for like lather or stuff. So 
I don't know. I'm not knocking it or not saying anything about it. But I'm not sure. So, yeah. Just checking that out. Blah. We also use... Still out. It's out now. Don't know how long it's going to be around. Phoenix Stars and Coutrement Space Nog CK6 Formula. Got the two guys on there. Santa hats. Loch Ness Monster. Saturn. Cube. Moon. Yes, very nice set. I like this one. I haven't even used it. This is first time I used it. It was like a year ago. And yeah, that is it. That's the shape of the day, ladies and gents. So, wah! So, hope you guys have a good day, good week, good shave, more to come. Money's stiptic on there. Yeah. So, see you, ladies and gents, soon.